Hey, Annoying Infomercial Guy here with exciting news for everybody who has an automated farm. Do you have an automated farm? Do you, don't you hate it when your automated farm produces so much uh, stuff that it just starts stacking up on the ground because all of your storage is full and nothing, can, nothing will happen except it will eventually despawn. Do you also have way too many shulker boxes so that all you can think of to do is make weird hallways that just confuse people in a video? Well, I have news for you. This is Dark Sork's amazing shulker box collection. Automatically fills up shulker boxes. As you see, this shulker box is one from empty, or one from full. Once the uh, stuff gets here, it automatically breaks and goes down in here. Another one is automatically placed in its where it is and starts filling up immediately. And this can go on for as many shulker boxes as you desire and as you have. Now, what would you pay for such a system? Would you pay $50? Would you pay $100? Well, just for today, you can have the, uh, our technician fly out to your house and install this on your server or in your single player for just 200 easy payments of $19.99. Yes, that's it! $19.99! But wait, if you don't want to spend all that money, instead, you can just watch this video and I will show you how to do it for free! That's it! That is correct! You heard me! Free! Now, and now to show you how to make it, here is... Dark Sark! Okay, let's get rid of that. This is everything you will need to make this um, setup. We've got two hoppers, four redstone repeaters, two redstone comparators, three droppers, one dispenser, one piston, one soul sand, two chests, 25 redstone dust, and one water bucket, and an infinite water source. Otherwise, you need more than one bucket. You need a bunch of buckets. Okay, so first steps first. Put everything into my inventory. Now, to start this, oh, and you also need as many shulker boxes. as you desire with at least one <laughs> so to start with we are going to break one of the cardinal rules of minecraft what are there breathe. Okay, so down here you are going to need one dropper, one soul sand, you break this and we're going to start making a
Okay. I'm not going to give up just because I made a mistake. I'm not going to restart it, just because I made a small mistake. And I... So now we have that. I'm choosing to do this in creative to show, you know, it's not too hard to build in creative as long as you don't, don't make as many mistakes as I do. down here you will want two things. One, you will want to get hoppers going into your dropper here, going from wherever your farm is. Also, you're going to want to set some sort of a rapid fire clock, whether it be a um, rapid, what is it, the uh, um, rapid pulsar using um, torches or even just a double um, observer. Um, and what that'll do is it'll shoot items as they go in up this water stream. Now, under here, we're gonna place one hopper, which is going that way. Down right here, you're going to place two upwards facing dispensers. No, droppers. Two upwards facing droppers right there. Okay? That, by the way, is where we are going to be placing our shulker box. Now, back here, we are going to place one piston, regular piston, not sticky pushing that into the block. Over here, we're going to place one dispenser facing into the shulker box. Okay, now before we continue, we're going to go a three by three area, two down, And we're going to put comparator here, repeater here, and repeater here. Then we're going to grab that 25 dust we have, put it here, 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 and here. Then we're going to climb out. You can now bury this. It does not matter anymore. It is completely done. What that will do is anytime that bottom uh, dropper gets any items in it, it pushes it into the next hop, next dropper up, which pushes it into the shulker box. Now we are going to place our other comparator there. One redstone here. One redstone here. Then we are going to slow make a underground path to connect them, making sure that we have 15 total redstone dust. So 
So far we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and of course 15 being the magic number. The reason you have to have 15 is because when the shulker box is full, it puts out, using the, the comparator puts out exactly 15 redstone dust of power. If there is even one less than a full, like one less item than a full box, it will only go 14. Now we're also going to go this way, and we're going to cover that up. We're going to take redstone repeater here, redstone repeater there, and dust between. Now, it is very important that you cover this up. You can cover it with whatever you want. You can cover it with dirt blocks. You can cover it with, I don't know, iron blocks. I usually prefer mode creative. I usually prefer to use glass. This way, if you've got this where you can see it, you can actually watch the items fall going into there. At this point, the entire build is done. You can cover up all of this. With, the, with dirt, thus hiding everything but right here. Now, this spot here can be covered up, but only with glass or a top slab. Anything else will break the red zoom. Oops. Okay, so you do not want to use anything but glass or a top slab. Beyond that, if you wish to, you can surround the whole thing. Now, you will notice that I have extra... Okay, okay. I have extra hopper. Okay? You put a hopper there to grab the shulker box when it's pushed. And I also have chests. Put a chest there. Now, if you want more than nine shulker boxes in your dispenser, place one um, hopper there, and one chest on top, and you can get a chest worth. Or if you're really, you've got so many shulker boxes that, you know, you're rich, you can double that chest if you'd like. Now, it is always important that this is covered, and it is also important that this space right here is blocked. Because if that's not blocked, when this spits out whatever it's got in it, a lot instead of going up, it make it'll come to the side, go back into the hopper chain that you will have feeding this. And it'll just go in circles. Now if you want a uh, simple way of getting this a simple clock for that some common ones are the observer clock or There's also, okay, we're going to do it this way.
This takes up a little more space, but it fires a lot faster. This is a pulsar clock. Put that there, that there, that there, and that there. Now we put this here, this here, that, 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 and once we put it in there, it fires like crazy. So if you've got everything set up, and you ha say toss in a stack of redstone torches. And you make sure that space is blocked. See, I forgot about that. It'll all come up here. And start loading up your shulker box. I hope this was informative. I hope this was helpful. And um, please, please leave comments. Let me know how great or poorly I've done. I have not made too many videos like this. Thank you and have yourselves a wonderful day.